Yeah? Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a review on this Roborock Q5 Plus Robot Vacuum Cleaner. Okay, so this vacuum cleaner only vacuums. It doesn't have any kind of mopping attachment. Up here is the dust bag, very easy to change out. It says it will last up to seven weeks. You're just gonna pull this little lever here and change out the dust bag. Very simple. Now what I like about this vacuum cleaner, it's gonna vacuum your house, come back to the base station, and there's a vacuum inside here that's gonna kick on and suck everything out of here. Right dust here is the dust bin that sucks everything up. Okay, so it does use LiDAR technology and it does have a bumper on it. This is to map your house and to help it avoid obstacles. Now it's not gonna avoid low down obstacles. If you've got like some dog poop on the floor or a cable, it's not gonna avoid it unless it's kind of up high where the LiDAR can see it or if it bumps into it. Here's the bottom side of the robot, two drive wheels. We got this floating brush that goes up and down that's easy to clean, charging points, and then this rotating brush. Now the way this robot works is it's gonna go around your house and it's gonna pick everything up with this brush roller and then it's gonna put it into this dust chamber like I showed you. But when it comes over to this base unit, it empties everything out through this port here, which is the, the brush roller. So it's gonna pick everything up through the brush roller and then it empties the, everything out through the same brush roller. Okay, so it has an app that you can use to map your house. You can give it no-go zones, put invisible, you know, put a wall there. I got a wall there so it won't go past it. It does a really good job of mapping. I'm gonna, you can have it clean your entire house or just do a room. Okay, so I'm gonna do just a selective room. We're gonna go clean this room right here. Starting selective room cleaning. So it's gonna undock itself, then it's gonna go around the perimeter of the room, then it's gonna start cleaning the inside of the room. I've got some dust down here, some dog hair, some confetti. Now I like the app, it shows you real world where the vacuum's at and where it's been. That's pretty cool. So again, it's gonna go along the edge of your room. about 75 77 now we're gonna see how it does like with an iPhone cable it's not designed to miss an iPhone cable now I do have this obstacle here that's kind of tall and it should avoid it so see it can sense that because it's tall and it goes around it so yeah, it looks like it's doing a decent job. All right, picking up some of the dirt and debris. Now again, it's not designed to avoid uh, pet waste. There, it did a good job of picking up a bunch of stuff. Yeah, it does a good job. All right, there it's gonna pick up some more. I'm gonna leave a little bit. Now again, it did move that around. It's not, it wasn't tall enough for it to avoid. All right, here it comes back in. Wow, that actually did a pretty good job. I left a few pieces. I'm pretty impressed with how well it picks up stuff off the carpet. Okay. It is finished cleaning and returning dog. It did leave a few things, so that was a pretty tough order. I might have it do two passes. But let's pause it. I want to show you everything that's that, been look, removed. there's everything that it pick, did pick up. Yeah, that's a pretty good job. Okay, so we're gonna see how loud it's gonna auto empty when it docks. Okay, so one of the settings, if you've got the auto empty set to smart, it doesn't always auto empty. I'm gonna go to max and I can do an auto empty from the app. Okay, so let's do an auto empty. Not 85. 
Okay, so we can see in the app, there's where it cleaned. Let's check this. Dustbin removed. Yep, it emptied everything out of it. That's pretty impressive. Okay, let's go clean some linoleum. Okay, so we're gonna clean some linoleum here. We got, this is a bathroom, so it does have a rug. Quite a few obstacles. Again, it's got some dog hair, some really fine stuff. We're gonna see how well it does. Okay, so here, it travels really good. It goes right to the room. It does lower the suction when it's on hardwood floor. And again, it'll do the entire perimeter first, and then it'll start vacuuming the center. Yeah, it's not very loud when it's on about 66. Did a good job picking that stuff up. Now that's a pretty tall rug. We'll see if it struggles with it or anything. It should ramp up the suction. Yep, it's handling it just fine. Okay, so it's going around the toilet. Now it's gonna go back and forth. Yeah, it did a pretty good job. It doesn't splatter the stuff too bad. Okay, here it comes for the rest of the mess, yeah. Pretty impressed with how it does on linoleum. It got everything on the first try. Okay, there's the app. Now it doesn't auto sense carpet or anything, it just, but it does show you a live view of it cleaning. Okay, so it's finished cleaning, it's returning to the dock. You can see there's the big line it went. It, it travels really good. All the way back over here to the dock. And it gives you a picture of where the dock is. Okay, so I found the dock right away. Now it should auto empty this time since I changed that setting. Okay, so the dust bag, you don't get a notification, but just kind of feel it. About every two months, you may have to change it. If it's full, pull it up and then put the new one back in. Now these other ones, you're gonna get some notifications on. Under maintenance, we've got a filter, main brush, side brush, and sensors. Again, once you clean these, then you're gonna reset the time. Hit the reset button and then you're ready to go. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is turn the vacuum off. Hold the power button. Take the robot off charging mode to turn okay. off. Yeah, we gotta take it off. Now, press the power button. Turning off. All right, now it's safe. Okay, the light stayed on for about another 20 seconds, and now we're safe. So the filter is right here. So you're gonna take this filter off. There's a filter there underneath here. Here's the brush roller. Okay, first let's do the filter here. There's a little arrow, pull the arrow towards you. Now you can take this to the sink and get this all nice and clean or just blow it out. I like to blow these filters off once in a while and then I'll wash them about every two or three times, but you do have to let it dry. So you can get this wet, uh, use, rinse it with water, but you have to make sure it's nice and dry. It may take up about two days for it to dry. Put these little ears in first. They go right, they go right there and then push that down to where it clicks. There's the O-ring that goes. Now let's go over to the main unit. First, let's do the sensors. So there's these little sensors right here. They do get dusty and you do have to wipe them off. Make sure the charging connectors are clean. This wheel spins freely. You can pop it off if it gets hair underneath there. Once in a while, you are gonna have to change this. It does get pretty deformed. Just a little Phillips screwdriver and pull it off. Make sure there's no hair around the drive wheels. And now let's get to the main brush. We can see we got some hair wrapped around it. Push these little ears in, take this off, pull the brush out. Now, you're gonna wanna cut those off, the hair wrap. And then just kinda blow this clean. Now make sure there's no hair wrap around the roller ends too. That, that area looks nice and clean. 
Okay, let's put it back in. There's a big square drive that goes on that white side. Put the square drive in first. Then you'll see like an arrow where that sits flat. Now this next part's very important. You can clean this part off also, but you want to make sure and get these uh, front this front part in first. This is very very important. Put those in first. Press it down and snap it closed. Now you want to lift this up. This is a floating base unit and it has to be installed properly or it won't empty out everything in the base unit because it has to has a nice seal here so that when it's on the docking station, it'll suck everything out through this brush roller. So make sure this is all nice and free and installed properly. There are some sensors here on the front. Make sure nothing's on this. There is something that spins down underneath there. Make sure the bumper's nice and free. Sometimes a piece of crumb can get in there. And you're gonna take the filter and snap it into place. Okay, so now we're just gonna dock it and that should turn it on. Just line it up and press it forward like that. Yeah, it turned it on. Okay, so this is the Roborock Q5 Plus. They have a Pro, Q5 Plus Pro. It has a mopping attachment. This does, this does not do any mopping and it doesn't avoid poop. It doesn't avoid low things to the ground. So if knowing that going into this, this got a really high score because it was not designed for all of that. This got a score of 94 out of 100. Now, a lot of things were NA. There's no mopping. There's no mopping pad attachment. It doesn't clean the mops. So I gave those a five because this vacuum cleaner is just meant to vacuum. If something is low to the ground and this can't see it, this LiDAR, it is going to run it over. If it's strong enough and the bumper hits it, it will go around it. But it's not. it does not say that it can find a small cord on the ground or it has a camera on the front that sees the poop and goes around it. There's really no obstacle avoidance other than the bumper and the LiDAR. Now, it, it maps your house really good. I like the mapping. You can put no-go zones. So you're gonna use this for a while and you'll find out where the trouble spots are. Just put a no-go zone there and the robot will stay away from those. So let's go. What did I like about it? Um, or what I didn't like about it? There's no uh, reminder on the dust bag. So when to change, you wouldn't think that'd be a big deal, but I'll go for a while and be like, well, when was the last time I changed that? So I really would like a reminder on the dust bag. Very nitpicky. The hair wrap, we did see it did have some hair wrap on the roller. Um, it is a little noisy when the, F, the base station empties and when this is vacuuming, but that's, it's nitpicky. And it empties through the roller. So it's kind of a weird technology. Most vacuum, most robots will empty out through a port or down at the bottom or something, but this empties out, whatever it picks up, it empties out through this. Now, I've had a problem when you don't get this part on correctly, it, they won't empty out the dustbin and you don't know it. It kicks on, it makes you think it's working, then you realize, oh, the dustbin's been full for a month. So you do have to make sure to get this part, the top of this roller part on really good. I showed you that in the maintenance video. Um, so things I like, it picks up, it, it actually does a really good job of picking up hair. We saw it picked up that hair, confetti, and really small particles on carpet and hardwood floor. I felt like it did about the same. Maps quickly, this app's working now. So I was having a lot of problems with the S8 Pro Ultra. The app was just awful, it wasn't working. Today the app is working, so I have to say the app is working, but the Roborock, the app didn't work for about a week and it was very frustrating. It was crashing, the map would spin. Uh, so what I like now, the, the, uh, the app is working good. When it works, it's easy to use. This has a small profile. This vacuum is not super heavy. Um, the base station has got a small profile and the maintenance on this is relatively easy. Other than this, this one part, the maintenance is very easy. I mean, cleaning the filter. I love that it has a nice big, that, that big filter that's gonna go longer between cleanings. So some of the robots are have really small filters and they clog really easy. And then you're gonna lose suction power. This has a very nice big filter. I like that. Again, this, this costs $400. Now, I don't know if they're discontinuing it or not. Uh, they got the Q5 Plus Pro, which has a mopping attachment on it. I'll get that and do a review, but this one, no mopping, no pet waste avoidance. They're not advertising that. So it got a really high score. Again, 94, that's an A. This is a really good vacuum cleaner for what it's capable of. It doesn't do the real fancy cleaning base station, like mopping and all that. So with that in mind, 
I will put a link to this in the show description notes. I bought this with my own money. I did pay $400 for it. It is on sale. I think the, the, the retail price was like 700. I would not pay 700. This is a very basic robot for 700. 400 is a good price point. Would I spend $400 on this? Yes, but it does have some limitations. So again, I'll put a link to this. Be sure to check out my Instagram. Look for my logo over there on Instagram. I do free giveaways on Instagram and my Facebook group page. So right underneath the video, you'll see, click on the word see more, and there's a description. And in that description, you'll see different links to this. I, again, I am an affiliate with Amazon, Walmart, um, and with Shark Ninja and them. So if you click on the link, the product doesn't cost you anymore, but I do get a small commission from the sale. It is a way of supporting my channel. Again, I buy these with my own money. That way I can give you an honest review and I do all the setup videos. I mean, I, I took this out of the box, show you how to take it out of the box. I do the setup, how to connect the app. And again, I got lots of robot vacuum cleaner videos that are coming. The, I got the 12, $1,500 robot ones that have mopping and all that. Those are pretty cool and they're doing really good. Some of them and some of them are not. So look for those videos. Again, really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could hit the thumbs up button underneath the YouTube channel, that helps out my YouTube channel. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see more robot vacuum cleaner reviews. So again, thanks everybody for watching. Here's the scorecard. There is a bunch of NAs. Again, it only, the three was auto empties kind of loud. So very good vacuum cleaner.